Hello guys, before we start, please make sure you look at this achievement thoroughly before we start the video. Also, I did do a separate video at the very end of this collectible guide video. So if you want more information, you can go there. It's a pretty basic achievement to do. It's just a pain in the ass if you mess up and have to redo the whole game again. Here we go. This will be your first achievement. And this will be the feline. So basically, once you start the game, you want to go into the kitchen, go get some cat food and then feed your feline friend. Let's and that is basically nourish. it for this achievement. Also, I'd like to mention that um, I didn't mention any of the other achievements. Like basically, it's pretty simple to do. All you have to do is interact with 100 items. There is way more than 100 items to interact with in this game. So you get that as you progress through the story. I can't believe it's all still here. There's one for basically for stay in your instincts mode for 15 minutes. There's one for walking 200 kilometers where it is. So it's very basic stuff. So you should already get them as you play through. Reason why I haven't mentioned them. And now for your very first collectible, this will be the groundskeeper postcard, one of 11. As soon as we start, go into the office directly in front of you, just go to the left and then collect your postcard. So once you go into the split during this level, you'll have to climb up this little ledge here, just below where the camera is. When you get here, go to the right, then in this back corner here before you interact with anything else you will find your next collectible this will be the drawing and now for the next collectible this will be a postcard is once you get into the open area this is the parking lot and you may get a cutscene as well but after that cutscene go to the far left hand side so the front left I should say then you'll find a loadsome car all the way in this background. And it should be a red car. Then right next to that should be your postcard. I think it's inside, to be honest. Hey, old timer. Now, what's a fine machine like you doing in a place like this? Doubling as a spare bedroom. There we go. There it is. So now for your very first echo, this will be in front of the building in the parking lot. There should be a telephone right here. They'll start ringing at some point. And now once you get next to it, interact with it. And there is your first echo of many. Oh, it's definitely something. Trust me, you made the right call sending me. So this one's very easy to find. As soon as you get inside the hotel, it's all part of the story. As soon as you land, make sure you locate the echo directly in front of you to the left of the stairs. So now let's go from the last location. So as you go up the steps, you can either do this before or after you go into this split mode. But if you go too far forward, it will trigger the cutscene. But if you go right before that, you will go into this little back room here and you will find your next postcard. So as you enter the elevator to go up to the first or second floor, the elevator will stop. Then now you'll experience the out of the body experience. Once again, you need to do this anyway as part of the story. So for this next collectible, or this will be a drawing, is as, as you head down the stairs, ignore that charge station that we need to go to eventually. But go back to where the reception desk is. This is where it is right now and head away from the camera. Go all the way down to the bottom. You can only get this during this sequence. 
because the door is locked. And you'll see it on the table there. And now for your next collectible, this will be the Echo. Is once we got the key from the other room, we had to run back down towards the camera to find the moths here, blocking the way. Use the story related key to go through a door. And now we're going to go inside and go the only way we can go. Make sure to investigate the area just to be sure. But as we go around, the camera will change facing forward. And you'll see a telephone on the tide there, and that'll be it. Making sure you use your your sense thing to unlock the echo. Yes. Um, yeah, yeah. And now there's going to be four more collectibles as we jump down. So from the last location, just drop down. As we drop down, we'll get this very short scene with a noise that happens. Now go through that doorway you see directly in front of you. So the camera will change. Now head back onto the camera and go into the toilets. Now go towards the sink and you will find an echo here and you'll find a note. If I can interact with the damn sink. There we go. So the bottles here with the pills, you'll find the echo. <laughs> it's, what? it's more that this letter crushed her spirit. And then the letter, this will be the apology. This is be the mentor's diary. This should be your first one. So now from here, we're going to leave and go back through the same door that we came in from. And go into the far left corner here. You will find some like paper, people paper, what you call them. And interact with this little thing here. Some this will interact so the next the memory. This will be your very first memory of the game. Squeeze in the right spot. Let it Ah, uh, some there we go, that's number three. And then now the last one is as we leave the apartment, Shit, there we want to go towards the camera, so go down. Need more energy to get through. And you'll find dead end, this will be your next collectible as well. For the next collectible, this will be for the memory. Once you pick up the razor blade in your spirit form, Once you finally access this other room, once again, it's all part of the story. We need to go into this back room here. You've already been here already. Once again, with your second form, there'll be a memory here in the background. You want me to go to And now once we've done everything here, even picked up the flower in this pot here, we now want to proceed on outwards, but before we actually go out where we came from, head towards the camera to the bottom right. This will be another bathroom. Interact with the mirror. This will be your next echo. You. There have been times when I. And now, once we go through our second swarm using our shield, uh, don't enter the doorway to the left just yet. Just keep on going straight. And in your spirit form or the spit form, or whatever you call it now, I keep, I keep forgetting what the form is called now. But just keep heading down. Go to the outer body. Then keep going to the edge and you'll find your next collectible. For the next collectible, this will be one of the first of the Troubles Men's Notes. This is one of 20. Go into the main room where the camera wants us to go. Ignore the door for now. Keep going right. And you will interact with the floor here. You will find an old man note. And also on your left form, you will find the a peaceful place as well. So now after the cutscene, then we go into Thomas's office and then go behind the desk and interact with it. You will see so much rubbish here and you will find the next collectible to do list. This will be for the Trouble Man's Note.
Once you make it into the hidden room, you now want to go into the middle to find your next collectible. This will be the note located on the floor here. Like a Shortly after being brought back to the reception desk, you want to look at the radio. Once you have done that, it will tell you to go to the day room. As we proceed inwards, we will find the day room door locked. You will find this note located to the right side here, or the left, sorry, left side as you go up, but the camera angle will change. So it will be technically to your right when you go up. So the day room will be locked, so you have to come up here anyway and go directly straight. Eventually, as you come into the swimming pool section, you will need to proceed down inside the swimming pool. Go to the other end and you will find uh, there's an echo around here somewhere. There it is. Let me be free. And now from the last location, there will be another echo, so climb back out of the pool, and then go to the front side of it. There will be another barrier as well that you need to interact with, with your sense to find it. So now once again from the last location, this time you want to go through this doorway. Ignore the tray there, or the trolley to the left, go inside the next wall there. And then once you proceed onwards, you want to go slightly to the left, or go left with the camera. Then you will find this next echo, this will be in the clothing. Cover your nose. And now for the next note from the last location, go right, and go behind the, the sauna pool, or whatever we call it. In the middle of the two, look in the box and you will find your next postcard. Now for the last location, proceed through the door. I do apologize about the plane going over the house right now. So go through the hallway, go up the steps, and then as soon as you enter the big long hallway, if you head back towards the camera and to the right, you will find your next note. This will be for the troublesome man note. This will be good old Frank. So now, let me just get this over and done with. Uh, there will be at least three to four echoes that we need to do. It's all part of the story, so there's no point in me showing you. But now, if you keep on following the, um, the trail, eventually it will lead you into a locker room. Once again, we've already been here once already. But in one of the lockers, there will be a item that we can pick up. And there we go, that's another note. So now as we enter the examination room, there will be an echo in this place. Great. Go towards the telephone, pick up the telephone and then this is where your echo will be. New details have emerged. So now from the last location, go through the mirror. Oh God. As we leave, go towards the back of the room to pick up your next collectible. So now for the next collectible, this will be the drawing. This will be number seven, eight. So once you encounter the two LaSalle's here, once again, part the story. Once you interact with them, and eventually it'll take you two directions, left or right. For now, let's go to the left, and do not head up the stairs just yet, because there will be a collectible just in the back here.
All right, so for these next two echoes, I'm going to start from the last location. It will take a, a bit of time just to get there. I want to make sure you guys go the right way first. So now head up the steps and go the only way you can. If you're using your instincts thing, so follow the marker that is giving you where to go. As you come up here, you want to go to the right and you will find a mask here. I'll show you right now. You'll find this mask located right in this doorway. Now, once this door is now revealed, you can go into this next section. As you hear, go towards the map or the mirror and go back into the normal world. Now, once you're in the conference room, stay to the left and you'll find a telephone just onto the left. This will be your echo number 14. I gotta go. No, yeah. And now let's go grab echo number 15. So go through the doorway, head back up and go left into the second conference room. At the very bottom of here, you will find an ashtray, and this will be your next echo. I can't, I can't. Now, the only way you can go now is return back through the mirror and go the other direction. Right, finally, you'll get the um, ex examination room key. Once you've got that, we can now proceed on through. And now as soon as you go through this door, we want to go to the left. If you go right, then you will miss this collectible. Thank now for the next echo is once we go into this room. Don't worry, you can't miss this room because you have to come here anyway. She was a ballerina. Now the echo will be the card located right here. card was Vivian one of your stars this room has got now once you have freed the two souls you will investigate this um, bolt cutter here that we can't pick up but go into the next room to the right we need to go into the mirror once again now as we go through there will be a Another clue here, or not a clue, but there'll be another note. This will be a quiet girl. This is on the other tab. Now, keeping things simple from the last location, instead of going through the door to the left, go through the hole in the wall to the right. This place. In here, you will interact with the wheelchair. This will be your next echo. Hello, my love. Okay. Once again, from the last location, just go down towards where the wheelchair was, interact with the table, and underneath the table, or in between it, I should say, there will be another note, and this will be called Empty Eyes, once again, in the other tab. And now for the last collectible before we go into the day room. Do not go through the day room door yet. Keep that chain on the door. We need to head back now to where the reception is. Now, since we've got the bolt cutters, we can actually go through this gate now in front of us, and that will reveal our next note. This will be a trouble man's note. This one should be called the Dust and Death. And there it is. Now we can go to the day room and continue on with our story. As we enter the day room, making sure you cut off the uh, leather thing in your way. As soon as we enter, just go left off the camera and then it will move around and you'll find your next echo located right here on the table of some sort. And also there's going to be a mother or mentor's diary as well
Gather round, children. I and now for the next one. This will be from the last location. Very simple to find. Just carry on forward. And you'll find a couch. This will be your next. This is the mentor's diary as well. This one should be called a special day. Or a very special day. Oh no, sorry. A very special boy. My bad. My bad. Now once again from the last location, head towards the camera and you should run directly into this memory. Don't you think he would be better off? What about we all wrap? So now from the memory shard, all you want to do is just head right and try and st stay straight as possible. On this chair here, you will find your next collectible. This will be the Mentor's Diary, so this will be a well of inspiration. Once again from the last location, once you go through the doorway to the right, you need to pick up one of the main objectives. As we've done that, we will now go all the way across this other room where we'll find a globe. But as soon as we enter the door, you will find your first collectible in this room. And then the next thing we have to interact with the globe a bit. If I can even pick it up. Rage. All right. So once we now go to the globe and interact with it, once you've figured out the puzzle, then eventually you get to this part where you can rotate the globe. You need to rotate it counterclockwise. So originally the globe is like this. You have to move it backwards to about here. The reason be we need to go get a collectible that's located in the spirit realm. Now we can continue on with the globe and go to the next location. Now, pretty close to the last location, literally as soon as you go outside, you will come back into the other side of the room, and in this room here, you will find a piano. Once again, there will be a shard here, so making sure you find the right location for the shard. Interact with it, and then once again, you know what to do, just line them up. And then that is done. I love this melody. It reminds me of my childhood. But... And now, once you are picking up the key to the teacher's room, where the piano was, you can now access this room. In this room, you will find one echo, one memory shard, and the mentor's diary number six growing apart. Come on, Richard. Rick and Gus do it. That's how you found me? Yes. That's my that you just... That should be all the pieces of the score now. So now, once we've put the piano pieces together, we start playing the music and now we can access the ground floor. So once you go past all the uh, moths, as soon as you come down, you want to stay to the right hand side. So keep going right. Keep on going right. There we go. This is the next piece. Almost done. A girl. Did you love me? Did you love me? 
Now this one's simple to get as well, in the same room. I can't believe I ran directly past it, I didn't even notice it. I wasn't looking on the bottom screen at the time. But you'll find a doll, on the top screen you'll find the red doll you need to interact with. This one's right next to the stairs as you come down, so I, I still can't believe I went right past it. Well, for this one, I don't really need to show the location because this is all part of the story, but if you really want to know where it is, if you go to the right side of the stairs, this will be your story-related item for the memory shard. And now for the next two secrets, is once you leave and go into the forest section, after you dealt with the counsellor thing, and after you've done the Thomas sequence as well. You will come down these steps. Once you come here, you want to turn to the left. Oh, sorry, I went the wrong way. Then go down on next to this bench. This will be the postcard the groundskeeper, and then the next one will be the Echo. Aha, there it is. How is he? No, don't put him on. Oh. Hmm. This one felt... And now not too far gone after we get to the last collectibles, we want to come down these stairs and you'll find like a view in platform or view in space. In this area here, you'll be the camera will be focused on the view in thing in the middle, but look on the bench, you will find the next collectible. And now almost from the last location, you will find a sign that will say rare tree exhibit or the landscape trail. The way you want to go for now is going to be the landscape trail. So as you're going across, you will find that there's another collectible right on this bench. This will be the groundskeeper again. This will be harder and harder. Okay, so once you get into this next um, trail pass, you will see the dog during the cutscene on the left. You can see him right now on the screen. But don't follow the dog just yet. We want to go right now. We're going to find another collectible tucked away into the bushes section over here. There it is. Lucky enough, these actually shine to you, so it's not really hard to miss, but you can miss them if you go the wrong way. But and Now, after the cutscene is finished, once you arrive at the camp, you want to go to the fireplace, and you'll find another collectible on the bench. This will be the groundskeeper again. This will be our new companion. And now for two more secrets. Now go to the camp itself or the tent and investigate it. Now once you are here, you will find there's two collectibles here. So just grab the one. This will be the grandfather one called Regrets. We have now found all the postcards in the game. So now the next photo will be the, I think it's just called pictures category or photos. This will be the last one for this category as well. That will be the star photo. What is it, boy? Was he your friend? And now eventually along your adventure, you will get to a part. Eventually you go, you go into the split mode again. It'll take a while, but eventually you'll get here. When you get to this shed, on the left side, there'll be two echoes that we need to find. So one is located right here. This will be the wheel. All right. hey. And the next one will be the lighter. No, not sorry, not lighter. I think it's cigarette. Sorry, not lighter. No, yours are hard. Oh. And now, once again, from the last location, go into the shed now. You want to go to the tool, well, not the tool shed, but to the left side workshop or workbench. Interact with this pony here. You will find that there's another echo. And the same area, if you look up, 
onto the shelf, you will find the Trouble Man's note. This will be Hell's Angel. And now, once again, from the last location, we're going to go through the door. We're going to find three collectibles here. So once we enter the doorway into the garage, you will find your next Echo will be located right next to the door. Pick up the cassette tape and interact with it. And now you want to go and find the next Echo. This will be the suitcase here. And then underneath the suitcase, on the shelf below, you will find the Trouble Man's note. And now once you get to the red house, before going up it inside the house itself, you want to interact with this object right here. This will be your ninth memory shard. You think you're when you and now the next memory shard is to the left side of the house. Alright, so for this collectible, is once you finish the vision with Thomas, then you want to go into the red house. It's all been destroyed. Go to the far right side and you'll find a little opening in the doorway. Go inside and look on the overturned shelf to find the Trouble Man's note. This will be the Demon's one. Eventually along your adventure, you will come down into the basement. Once you come down into the basement in the red house, you will find three echoes very close by. So as soon as you come down the basement, head directly straight, you'll see the wheelbarrow here. This will be the shoe right next to that. So make sure you interact with that. Tell me about the fight. Now your next one is go away from the camera, go to the very end here. You'll find the teddy bear. And your next one will be the, I can't remember what it's called now, but the syringe. This should be a final one. This should be 28 in total. And you should get the achievement as well. Listen. Now from the last location, go right underneath the bench here or the chair. You'll find the next one, this will be the Trouble Man's Note. Once again from the last location, head towards the camera this time, go where the wheelbarrow was before. Just keep heading down, keep heading towards the camera. Then you'll find your next note located on this table here. Okay, so you'll get a cutscene that you have to run away from something. After you've done that, you'll be located in this fallout shelter or whatever it's called. I don't really know what this place is called, but it looks like a shelter to me. But anyway, once the cutscene is finished, this is where you'll be. As soon as you start, just head directly straight and you'll find your next collectible. This will be the Troubled Man. I think there's only Troubled Man remaining, so... And now for the next collectible, once you get into the control room area, you can't really miss it because you have to come in. Look on the, look on the left side of the control panel before going through the door to the left. We will find the next note. And now for this next collectible is once you've done the pump station area where you've got to pump all the water out, eventually you'll get to this position here. Go through the only door you can and go back onto the camera itself. If you look onto the shelf, you'll find your next note. This will be the Trouble Man. And now, not too far from the last location, we'll eventually get our fuse, then proceed through the same door, 
And then this will be Lily's room. This is where your character will actually say this is where Lily was. So on the table, you will find your next note. When you have your fuse, you want to bring it back to this location and turn the power back on. Once you have done that, leave the same room that you've entered, or well, the same door, I should say, and go directly straight over. Now this door is unlocked. This will lead you to the kitchen. Now head towards the camera to change the camera view to find the next troll man's note. Just me and her. So now I might as well take it from the last location. So leave the doorway, go in the hallway, go directly straight up. If you want to, you can check the doorway to the left to find a piece of glass. You need that anyway at some point. Now keep on going back towards where Lily room was. But instead of going all the way down, go to the left of this will be Thomas's room. In this room here, there will be a, a trouble man's note on the side here. And then right next to that, you will see another one. So now from the last location, this should be the final one for the achievement for the Trouble Man stuff. This was definitely Thomas's workspace. I can sense the determination. Whatever he was working on, he really gave it his all. Were you trying to send the monster away? Or to get your other self back? There we go. That's everything in the game collected. So eventually, throughout your hotel experience, you will get chased by the good old phantom the very first time. At some point, you will get to this location. Can't really miss it, it's part of the story. So this is the point where the uh, phantom achievement actually starts. So from now on, you do not, you don't, you don't walk, you don't run, you always crouch. If for some reason he hears you, or even sees you, then you have to restart the checkpoint. So I would recommend go as slow as possible. It doesn't matter how long it takes because if you somehow get to the very end of the section where you meant to get the achievement, you don't. And guess what? You got to do the whole game again up to that point. Unless you make manual. No, sorry. Unless you copy your save files in certain points, then I would recommend doing that. There's really no strategic way to do it. Just stay crouched and be silent. Do not. Whatever you do, do not walk and you will also may see me start walking just do not do what i do just stay crouched trust me because this is my failed attempt i didn't realize but my second playthrough i didn't actually record it but i've done it correctly then so just always stay crouched the entire time
So this is the perfect example of what not to do. I've just now realized that this is the clip that I messed up on. So as you go through this doorway here, you'll get kind of a jump scare behind you. The demon's coming after you now or the no. phantom. No. At this point, I'd recommend do not run because this is what messed me up with the achievement. Because I ran and the demon heard me and he's running after me. So therefore I failed. If you just crouch and stay quiet, this time you have to hold your breath as well. Whereas the demon will hear you breathe. So this is the perfect example of what not to do. So for this clip and the last clip, you're going to see, it doesn't matter which way you do it because uh, the game will give you an option to save two children. Of course, you need to save it anyway. It's part of the story. But depending which path you take, it may lead you to the next clip or this clip. But once again, it doesn't matter which area goes first as long as you do both of them silently. getting close that woman was here that's it Nicholas okay Nick Now, I shouldn't be showing you this, but anyway, but once you pick up the vault cutters, once again, this is all part of the story, and then you have to go and cut one of the chains off the door. But once again, it's all part of the story. But once you do that first door with the chain on it, you should get the achievement. If not, then I'm afraid you might have to restart the level again or the game again. Hmm. So worth it. <laughs>